Hello and welcome to the first episode of the December MHC, The Great Race. And this one is one where we're going to be attempting to, well, we're going to see how far we can get in this world. Let me go through setting this one up. Um, I'll just call it MHC Deck. That will keep me right. I know we, we turned the structures off. It's a default world type, and the seed is the great race, exclamation mark, like that. Let's just hope this turns out to be the same world that I saw in Mike Deering's video when he announced it. Now, it's a very interesting challenge, this one. Got to see how far we can get, but food is going to be a problem if we just head off in that direction. We've got to head east. If we just head off in that direction, then pretty sure you're not going to get very far because you're going to get hungry. Right, as you can see, yes, it seems to be the right world. That's the direction we're going to be heading in. Right, I'm going to start my timer. As you see, I'm using my mod, which has got a timer in it. Now, I don't know how much lag will influence the time of day, so when I get to 20 minutes up there, I'll probably find out that we're still only halfway through the day or something because um, we're getting all kinds of strange lag. Right, so we've got this little icy pond there. don't think that's going to be very much use to us. Pretty sure the best tactics for me to apply in the early stages is that I'm going to head over here, get get wood. Yeah, it's gearing up. In fact, I really... I've been thinking about what Michael said of an estimate of how far you're likely to go in this challenge. It's so difficult to come up with an estimate. It could be hardly any distance or it could be a huge distance. All depending on just what you manage to achieve, what, you know, what things you find, how lucky you are. Um, the, I fully intend to spend some time just around near the start here, so I'm not going to make great progress in the early stages. I'm expecting to, uh, to spend probably the first episode or two not far from here and um, gearing up. Now one of the things that is a very interesting possibility is um, if you can get diamonds, then maybe you can make yourself... Oh, slid nicely across there, didn't I? Um, you can make yourself a nether portal. I know you can make yourself a nether portal without diamonds, but um, you can make yourself more than one. So you can make one in the nether to return at a later point and that would be a very interesting way of going about things because you travel eight times as far in the overworld as the distance you've traveled in the nether so that really might be a way of making a lot of progress but on the other hand the nether is fairly inhospitable for traveling and so you might have a lot of trouble so it's 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 the kind of thing where you don't know whether it's going to go well or badly. Right, let's just carry on my early sort of stone gathering type things. I'm not, not going to go down here, although it's a, a vague temptation, but I want to make a little bit of distance. I think food is more important than, than these. How many have I got there? 22, that should do, that should do fine. I will be able to make a few basic items with that number of blocks and get my first sword up and running and I've got enough for a couple of furnaces so that should all be enable to, enabling me to keep going. Right, interesting, there's a bat, so obviously a cave near here. Right, not to be distracted, he says, as usual, but I I need right a little bit more wood, but then basically it's I've got to find food. 
Now, I would guess mushrooms are going to be a nice source of food, if only I can find two different types. Doesn't look like very good territory for, for, for mushrooms across here. Um, yeah. I keep, keep looking at the hillsides, because the other things on my mind is I would like to pick up um, surface coal, surface iron if I see it, and let's just head off in this direction and see what we see. But I'm not going to run. Oh, what's down there? Ooh. Probably nothing. Yes. I'm not, I'm not going to get too bogged down with doing that kind of thing. Because I need to be heading to somewhere where there might be mushrooms. Now under these trees is a good chance. But only a very few of them. There's a lot of grasses and I may, uh, may be stupid in not gathering any of these grasses. But we'll find out soon enough. I just need to know what's up ahead of me. Uh, yeah, there's probably a few more trees appearing. I, I need something where there's a few trees together in a cluster that can darken the the land lying underneath them. I'm not getting hungry yet, that's good. Right, I need I need somewhere where there's a herd of skelly then, you must be in a cave. Um, come on. This gets scary the lot further I go without any source of food. Makes me think that I should have been just gathering grasses and settling down to watch the wheat grow, but that really is a terrible way to play this. If you can't take risks on day one... Oh, look, look, trees! More trees! Right, that's a better chance. Although I'm interested in those stony hillsides over there because you can get some surface coal. I can see some surface coal. And you're going to have to be able to light up when night comes. Notice I'm six minutes in, and uh, so that means I'm suffering relatively little lag. I've tried a few other attempts at games with this new mod of mine, which tells you exactly when, when you switch over from day to day. And, um, right, okay. Day zero, this is... If I get exploded doing this, then day zero is the time to do it. Just grab a little bit of coal. Head off. I don't, I'm not going to stop for lots of it. Nope, all that over there. If there, were, if there was any iron showing, I might be interested in stopping for that. There isn't, so I'll carry on towards where I saw those other trees. I still haven't lost a haunch of my hunger bar yet. Hi, hi, mobs, hi, mobs. Right, um, food is the thing. I need to find a good source. I can pick up a bunch of each colour mushrooms from underneath some trees. That forest, yes, forests are often places where you can find pigs that I can't eat. Look, pig cows that I can't eat. I, apparently I can. There is a, a rule that says a, for a holiday meal I'm allowed just one animal on one occasion for one meal. So I'll have to think carefully about which animal I choose. Hmm. Oh, look, a mushroom! So, I've got a brown... Oh, I've got a couple of brown mushrooms. Is good. But we need a red one to go with it. Without a mixed diet, I'm afraid we don't eat at all. Let's pop some of these things up there. Right. Um, 
Yes, red mushrooms or we're in trouble. So we're at eight, nearly nine minutes in. Uh, the sun is getting ready to set. We could have a very upsettingly dull time of the first night if I'm forced to hunker down and and not eat anything. This could be trouble. Right. Keep keep your eyes peeled. Anything anything red and white spotted is fair game. No, that's a flower. Don't eat poppies. Poisonous compounds. No, nope, we need mushrooms. Oh, I can hear lava down there and a cave. Oh, come on, I need the food before I do any of that. Food is the thing. I'm beginning to emerge from this. Um, that's the thing. I notice that I'm quite far out on the z-axis. And it's getting darker. Well, if you're gonna die... I need to I need to make sure that any death I do is before mm, this isn't good at all. Um Death is nothing to be scared of. You can start over. The stars are coming out. I'm walking along with absolutely nothing. <laughs> I suppose I will have learned something from a first attempt. If I if I find that there's absolutely nothing to eat, then I will probably end up starting another attempt where I I just settle down and um, hello Skelly. Don't shoot me. Oh, what's that? <laughs> no, that's not the thing. If I can't eat it, I don't want it. Right, this is looking like a a dull December for me if I don't find any food. Yeah, it does seem like red mushrooms are the problem. In this, there's a zombie. Zombie flesh. I'll eat some zombie flesh. Let's just kill all the zombies. Oh, and the creepers. I, 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 I won't be eating. Hello, zombie. Yeah, look at all that. Yummy. Zombie flesh. Hmm. That creeper was just about to uh, do away with me, wasn't he? Spider. Alright, I'm healing. Yes, mate. <laughs> More zombie flesh. Ouch! And an arrow in the butt. Right, I wonder whether... Ooh, spider. I wonder whether spider? Is that really a sentence? Right, I think I can make a... Right, here we go, now. Okay. Now, here's a good place to spend a night. Let's heal a little. Right, look at that. Now, you know what this means? Fishing. So there we are. We're going to become a fisherman. This really isn't the best start, is it? So, I'm going to become a fisherman while standing up on top of a tree. So, I suppose... I'm not healing as well, am I? If I could... 
make my way over to right that's perhaps finishing the sentences would would help you all um, if I could find myself to a place where I can um, fish from a tree then perhaps oh hello more zombies ouch oh it didn't hurt me ha 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 hi zomb right so how near do you have to be oh a little black rabbit Now, those zombies. Oh, he can get up the tree. Can he? Hello. Yeah. Well, that wasn't nice, was it? Is his friend trying to come around the other way? Right. down and pick up the flesh or right okay hmm creepers oh skelly don't like skellies right let's see if we can Build myself a little sort of hide. Do a spot of fishing. Can I even see that? Right. This will be great. And we wait when the morning comes and we're into. I'm going to catch a squid. We're going to have calamari. Fish! There you go. First fish. I need to let's just pop that and that because <laughs> that'll stop people jumping in. So quickly cook up a piece of fish. This thing's definitely um wandering around very close to me. I'm just a little worried that they might be able to get through to me. cooked fish. That's nice. Right. It's a very slow way of managing the challenge, but I've managed a thousand blocks already. And where I started. The star's moving nicely. and I'm looking in the wrong direction. I'm looking north, aren't I? I was just thinking that um, it would be... Ooh, who did that? Oh, it's a sheep, obviously. Nothing else eats grass grass-eating zombie. Right, come on then. One more fish and I'll be I'll be happy and I'll be ready to start getting on my way. So there's, the mushrooms didn't work out. Right, my eyes are beginning to get sore. Look, there we go. Oh, it's a salmon this time. Right, we need more, more fish though. So, nearly 18 minutes. We've got a couple of minutes to go to the end of episode one. Although, we do have to ca account for any lag that there might be on the first day. I might find that um, it runs over that over the 20 minutes until the zombies are burned. So, is it nearly time? No, the sky is pretty dark, isn't it? Please, please tell me if you see my float bob before I do, because just write in. There we go. I need to know. What's is it mainly sheep that's wandering around behind me? I, uh, that's not a problem if it is. 
Right, so we are getting... It's getting towards morning, isn't it? You can see the lightness in the sky. Let's just catch one more fish. I'll eat my, my current fish and then we'll keep a lookout for day one arriving and then be prepared to uh, get on our way and start more travels. But it was really... I'm not trying to put any great distance on uh, in the beginning. I just want to secure a source of food and um, I think I've done that with this fishing lark. Well, he's a bit slow. It's really going to slow me down, isn't it? It'd be nice if I could get a really good stack of, of something to eat. Um, oh, a book. What? What? I can't eat that. It's a Feather Falling 4 book. Well, that's a pretty good find on the first day. It does make you think, what am I, else am I going to get from fishing? If I can get feather falling books from an ordinary f f fishing rod of the kind, not enchanted, no luck of the sea or whatever the other one, lure or anything like that, you know, just an ordinary fishing rod and it goes and gets me a few fish and a enchanted book. Oh, oh, too late. I was too late. Right. Okay. Now we're 20 minutes and it has actually ticked over to the next episode. So. I will say goodbye from episode one, and we've managed to go one, two, three, one blocks in the X direction, and we're within a hundred blocks on the Z, and that was day one. Please join me next time for episode two.